the fuck was that noise? Fuck this pussy boy, fuck it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rochelle. I say that every fucking time and you guys know who it is. I need a new intro. Help me come up with a new intro. Thank you. My cat is about to knock my camera down. Please leave Willow. So I am coming back with another story time. It's fucking freezing in my apartment and I'm wearing a tank top. So in today's story time, wait shit bitch before I start off. Follow all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I'm very, very vocal on Twitter and I post a lot of fucking narcissistic Snapchats because I'm obsessed with myself. Sorry, fucking fight me. I am doing a story time today of the first time that I ever done did get blackout drunk. So, I am just gonna jump right off into the video. So, the first time that I ever got blackout drunk was... I was 15, it was the end of my sophomore year of high school. Before that, I'd always just drink in like a Mike's Art lemonade or like I'd take like a shot, but I never really, really like got fucking shit faced and I've only really ever gotten like shit face, shit face, shit face, maybe less than like between three and four times in my entire life. I was always really, really good with my alcohol. I was really good with pacing myself, knowing my limits, and knowing when to not take that last shot because sometimes it comes back up and I don't really like to throw up. I have a huge phobia of throwing up. It scares the shit out of me. And yeah, that's why I like to know my limits. So this was end of my sophomore year and this was when I started hanging out with mainly older kids. The kids in my grade fucking sucked dick. They didn't do anything fun. They went to fucking Bible study for fun. Like, I just was not about that. Like, that was just not my fucking cup of tea back then. Still isn't. I think religion's stupid as fuck. So before I go off on a ramble, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, that's just my personal opinion. If you don't like it, leave my fucking channel. I don't really care if you don't watch this video. Thanks. I was pretty much only hanging out with Ariana and her friends and because Ariana was a grade above me. And why does every story time have to fucking do with Ariana? So this was going to be like my first like actual big party that I was going to like big older kids party it was at this kid's house he was a senior he was the sweetest kid he was a senior I was a sophomore he would like always confess his love to me and he was just the nicest guy and so he was he lived in a really nice house and he was throwing a party and so I that was like gonna be like my first actual really big party not just like kickback I was going with two of my other friends who were in the grade above me but meeting up with Ariana and her friends I saw the party and honestly we just start drinking and I start drinking heavily and back then as when I was 15 at my end of, in my sophomore year of high school I didn't know what limits were I didn't know that you shouldn't mix your alcohol I really didn't know that and I literally my poor parents, I don't know where I fucking told them I was going. My parents never knew where I was because I would always lie and tell them that I was somewhere else. And I feel horrible because when I have kids, I don't want them to do that. And that just makes me so sad. I really don't want them to do that to me. So I just can't have, I really hope karma doesn't come and bite me back in the butt when I have kids. Okay, so back into the story. So we got there. I start drinking really heavily. There's a lot of fucking people. You like can't walk. You're just bumping into everyone. There's like so many fucking people there. And we're all starting to get drunk and we're taking drunk white girl pictures, like groups of us just taking so many pictures because we're so cool and we party and it's just so fun. Yeah, the night progresses. Everything's going fine. I'm literally... I was the only sophomore there, so that was kind of intimidating. It was literally like I was the only sophomore. Everything was good for a couple hours, and then we go outside on the patio, and that fucking guy 
from my story that I posted, it was either yesterday or two days ago, the one who was like, the guy who's like washing over us while we rolled for the first time at the Dizzy Wright concert, he's like really creepy now. So I like kind of had a crush on him back then. I thought he was like really cute. And he was like super into smoking weed. He was out there on the patio and we all went out there and he was like giving people dabs. And that was gonna be like my first time like taking a dab or smoking a dab. I don't know what you fucking call it. Come for me, bitch. So that was my first time taking a dab and that shit, whoo, I immediately threw up from that. I remember it time going by really fast and I remember for an hour straight I was chugging water because I had never ever felt my throat burn and be on fire that fucking bad. It was terrible. I never did dabs after that because it was so fucking terrible. Honestly, the night felt like it went by really quick and then there was a couple shots at the end where in my head I knew, okay bitch, you should not have taken those. Because shit after that, I st my things started to go black. Let me just say that. Things started to go black. And then I vaguely remember this creepy ass guy. You know who he is? He's the guy from Exposing Shitty People. He's the boyfriend of the girl I told in the second story who's really a psychopath. Like literally needs to be institutionalized. But honestly, I feel like people probably say that about me too, that I need to be institutionalized. So, so that guy, I remember him taking me up to the master bedroom. I remember like trying to fall asleep because I felt really sick. And all of a sudden, I get this horrible urge to throw up and I start crying, like literally screaming crying because I'm scared of throwing up mixed with being really, really drunk <clears throat> and being fucking 15. So he takes me to the bathroom and holds my hair while I'm like, fucking projectile vomiting, like spewing throw up. So after I throw up a shit ton, he takes me back to the bathroom, or he takes me back to the bed, and then I remember falling asleep, and I don't remember if he left me there or not, and I remember falling asleep, and then I woke up the next morning really, really fucking early, and he was laying like right next to me, and I was like, okay, creepy. And then there was like a really nice camera, like really nice expensive camera next to like the side table or nightstand next to the bed and I looked at the pictures and there was a lot of pictures taken of me sleeping like literally me sleeping and I was like okay this is like creepy this isn't funny they weren't like funny pictures it was like just me sleeping and I was like okay so here's the other thing so that party was on a Friday night and <clears throat> It is now Saturday morning. It's early as fuck. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I have Saturday school. I had to go to fucking Saturday school. So my friend drove me back to my high school to go to Saturday school for like fucking six hours. That was the first time I ever experienced a hangover. It was awful. It was a horrible, horrible hangover. I went to the bathroom a few times to fucking dry heave. Like nothing was coming out because I hadn't eaten that day. I was literally just dry heaving in the school bathroom on a Saturday because I had fucking Saturday school after the first time I ever got blackout drunk. And then my sweet dad, my sweet dad, he brought me drama juice and then I felt a lot better. And I got that pretzel in my system. I got a fucking smoothie in my system. And then I felt a lot better. And then that's what started all of my craziness. That's what started me turning into a crazy, a crazy ass bitch in high school. So thanks guy who threw that party for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the little notification bell. Once again, follow all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye.